got something here, it's a chance I'ma make my changes as I go in the city lights dance to the stars This is James Com again, the bike. Oh, this is Diego Cortez. And hey, how are you? Good. We're gonna uh, run in here at Loring Augustine and take a look. At some of Philip Taffy's recent work. put together and uh, maybe he's got some silk screen in the background over some staining and then uh, the question was how did he get these uh, white forms that are floating over the top here. Webster, a painting expert, you're, you're going to explain all the secrets to us, okay. I think they're just really complex. Okay, well tell us, like, what is, what is this form? Is that a collage form or is that a uh, stencil? Silk, I think that is a silkscreen form. But I know that I think that's silk screen. there's, there's um, collage and there's silkscreen and then there's chine collet printed on and then chine collet on the painting. That's what I was thinking that those were, with the chine, chine collet kind of but printed on and then cut out. Friend of mine, on a actually, silk screen background. I'll print these, so it might be, wow, these are good. Wow. So, that's it? That's, I think that's, that's You're I'm not going to give us the rest of the secrets? I think that's, there's a lot of silk screen, <laughs> there's a lot of direct painting, that there's all kinds of things in there exacting, so that they... Yes, they are. They work out like that. Right? All right, Chuck Webster, <laughs> thanks for your insights. Signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a beautiful jacket. This is titled Nymphanium. And uh, this has got a little bit different uh, layout, a lot of various, looks like illustrations from uh, your classic uh, encyclopedia or some kind of biology text. Mixed media on canvas 77 by 63. Now it says in the press release that uh, this is Phillips' first show in New York in six years. And uh, Philip was a very hot painter starting in the I guess in the late 80s, he kind of uh, came in for the second wave of the East Village scene. It's kind of illuminated constellations. And uh, it's kind of very, very complex. 
complex technical process that he goes through for the pieces using printed collages and uh, stencils. But a piece like this really shows his uh, legacy with the pattern decorative people. It's 98 by 62 and a half inches. Somehow I uh, almost get uh, kind of an Arabic feeling from looking at this. It makes me think of uh, the Islamic mosaics. And uh, it's got quite an illustrious crowd that has showed up here tonight. This is titled Thornhead. I actually kind of like this piece. The tertiary palette is interesting, and uh, although it's repeating these forms, I still get the feeling that this is kind of uh, spontaneously laid out. I could be wrong. This is 95 by 64 inches. This is titled Scribe 2003 Mixed Media on Linen. 85 and 3 eighths by 63 and an eighth. And uh, just from the title, I would assume that uh, that would be an allusion to these as feathers, maybe quill pens. Now, if you look closely at these uh, kind of feather forms, you see that there's actually two colors overlaid. And uh, that may be from his printing process. It's kind of a nice bleed through. Imagine the amount of time it would take to uh, either stencil or cut and paste all of this. It's titled Imaginary Garden with Seed Clusters. This is one of the few pieces that doesn't have a what I would call a overall composition. This is actually this little divide down the center with the white seed pods. And I guess a lot of the uh, little forms he's using kind of uh, botany studies. And I like the whites. Philip has been accused of being a uh, very decorative painter and uh, Sometimes I'm in the mood for decoration, but you can definitely see that he's uh, borrowing elements from uh, Art Nouveau. Or uh, maybe Victorian book design. I just looked through my uh, little gallery guide here and I don't see this painting listed. Take a uh, closer look for a little analysis here. So again, he's got this kind of uh, a William Morris wallpaper design in the back with uh, other strange kind of pretzel forms floating over the top. They look like they were rainbow rolled. Oh, hey, there's David Kramer. Oh, we'll uh, pop into the back two galleries. And some smaller pieces here. the 
the smaller pieces. It's titled Imaginary Landscape 1. 2013 mixed media on canvas 37 and a half by 37 and 5 8 inches and uh, you can see how fine some of the detail is on this it's another small piece emblem painting Nice. It's kind of overlaid one uh, series of printed image over another one. This place is a little more uh, rigorous. I like the uh, vertical striping. Makes me think of a Barnett Newman, maybe. titled Austuni 96 and a half by 45 and uh, it's 2013 but this makes me think of a lot of uh, the previous work by him that I've seen a few years ago he's very uh, very conscious of his edging and uh, of building frames you know, I said earlier that this does kind of relate to pattern decorative and if we uh, look back at one of the reports they did about two weeks ago of Mary Gregoriadis, they were talking about how she was building frames within frames and uh, this also has a lot of kind of framing elements. Oh god, there's Jim Sienna oh, and Mark Gustavi. This is also like uh, what I would call an extraordinarily decorative piece. It's titled Flowing Locus. And uh, yeah, these uh, kind of blown up sections of uh, kind of like Art Nouveau patterns in black really kind of set the mood. But if we look a little closer, you can also see that he's got a kind of a, uh, I don't know what appears to be a fairly uh, loose, splashy, almost stainy like ground. Although I can never trust that, that could all be uh, simulated. with this view of the final gallery space here. Okay. I think this is the punchiest piece in the whole show. I don't know why they keep it here in the very bad gallery. Just out of Harlequin screen. Mixed media on linen. It's going to be one of the larger pieces in the show too. This is 104 by 82 and two-thirds inches. And again, we got uh, kind of a simple mosaic pattern of blocks, although there is uh, some pedimenti going on there. But uh, these black scalloped forms floating on top are very nice. I think it's better when the work is simple like this. You can get a little too uh, caught up in all the layers and the uh, tricky techniques and some of the other pieces. It's beautiful. It's kind of like his um, stressed colors. Kind of uh, like weathered looking tertiaries. This piece is titled 
Asuka Nimbus. Relief print on paper. Numbers 8 through 23. It's a series of 35 unique works, 41 by 33 inches. All proceeds from the sale of Asuka Nimbus prints go to the organization Visual AIDS. Just AIDS relief. Okay, so we've got uh, beautiful prints on black paper pinned to a black wall. And I guess each one of these are inked kind of uniquely, so there is a certain amount of variation. Seventeen out of thirty-five. Phil Taffy here, okay. Well, actually, I was looking at this piece you're talking about with the white seed pods, I was admiring that. And I kind of noticed that uh, some of your compositions are more symmetrical or bounce or even overall, but then a couple of them sort of have these uh, divisions lined almost like a Barnett Newman. You want to maybe talk a little bit about how you kind of come up with your decisions on that? Well, I try to break the symmetry. And, yeah. Um, to use use uh, structure as a vibratory uh, uh, medium. So, uh, and, uh, you know, Barnett Newman is an omnipresent um, uh, um, figure for me. Right. How yeah. about the technique? We were always looking at these and wondering what is collage done? What is stencil? Do you use silk screen? Or are you not going to tell us the secrets? <laughs> Well, it's self-evident if you look at the, the, the paintings long enough, you can you, 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 you can tell they're not that mysterious from that standpoint. They're, they're, you can really see what's what if you examine them if you examine them closely. Well, I have been examining them anyway. The show is beautiful. You Thank you. Thank you very much. I especially like the Harlequin screen in the back room. That's a real uh, snazzy, jazzy piece. Thank you. Very I like much. it. Congratulations, Phil Taffy. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. So, it's a James Com bringing you through an exhibition of the works, recent works of Philip Taffy here at Loring Augustine, 531 West 24th Street in Chelsea. Thank you, Kate. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.